depend on anybody to survive. It is an, uh, the basic unit to use for measurement. You understand? Uh -huh. So we get three basic fundamental quantity. We know see now mass. Call the other one. Length. The other one are waiting. Time. And as I give you, you know, say time now seconds in the measure now be length na meters, mass na kilogram. Good. All these ones now, all these ones we get. Now the fundamental unit of these fundamental quantities. The fun these are not the basic fundamental quantities. They implant to temperature in day, amount of substance in day. All those ones they follow the current, electric current. Those the those ones in day, luminous intensity. All of them are fundamental quantity. They get their own fundamental unit. But when you talk about derived quantity, like if they consider somebody like force. This force now no go fit get your own derived or very fundamental. You no go fit get fundamental unit. Everything about that will be derived. For example, you know from Newton's second law of motion, they say force now the product of force and the product of mass times acceleration from Newton's second law of motion. Now, if you check, what will be the unit of this force? Whether you get the unit as force as Newton, where they always hear Newton now derived unit of this force. Why? Because force now derive quantity. So Newton will get now waiting. Talk now. Talk with that. Talk. Newton will get now waiting. Now derive unit. No be fundamental unit. This one too. If you still get another unit for this particular force, because mass now kilogram. It is a derived unit they borrow. Now those and I tell you what is derive quantity be derived quantity and those quantity will depend on fundamental quantity to carry survive. Like for example, now this one a derived quantity. Now I won't get the unit now. I go to borrow mass. See now kilogram now for <laughs> now for mass. Now, you understand? Uh -huh. So see mass here, kilogram times acceleration meter per second square meters. I don't borrow another one per second. I don't square. I don't borrow another one. You understand? I borrow everything away from the fundamental to carry get this particular one. So if you put everything together, the unit now can be kilogram meter per second squared now waiting they produce that newton because now one newton or one kilogram per meter one kilogram meter per second square now they give us one newton so one newton now equivalent to one kilogram meter per second square this one that derived unit this one now still derived units you know if you get fundamental unit inside derived uh, quantity you need they happen like that had a mistake where some of them they do, as my home correct and as they hurt.